In the last video, I showed you AI tools I'm using as a developer. But how I'm using them? How I'm prompting the codex? Let me show you. The truth is, every model is built with its own purpose and with its unique style. So if you try to use the model the wrong way, you will get much worse results and your performance will drop dramatically. First, always start with the official sources. OpenAI has a short article called Prompting Guide. It's really quick to read, so I recommend you to go through all the tips, but here is the most important one. Split large tasks. Like a human engineer, Codex handles really complex work better when it's broken into smaller focus steps. Smaller tasks are easier for Codex to test and for you to review. You can even ask Codex to help break tasks down. When you start building a new feature, ask Codex to draft a detailed plan. Then tackle it step by step. One prompt, one clear instruction. This approach is really different from how Anthropic teaches us to use Cloud Code. In their docs, we read, be explicit with your instructions, add context to improve performance, be vigilant with examples and details, put all of this different stuff in one prompt and you will be fine. But Codex doesn't work that way. It's all about minimal prompts for maximum accuracy. The next thing you should do is to provide clear code pointers. Codex is good at locating relevant code, but it's more efficient when the prompt narrows its search to a few files or packages. That's an important point. If you forget this, Codex will try to find the file using bash-like searches. If the file is coupled with others, it will pull them in too. What it means? More tokens wasted and slower thinking process. So the tip is simple, don't be lazy. Try to use address sign as much as possible to help Codex find the right sources. The next thing is including verification steps. Codex produces high quality outputs when it can verify its work. As I mentioned earlier, when you split a big task, keep it to one instruction per prompt. That way you can add a manual review step at each stage just by asking review for potential issues or improvements. Next tip I learned from article how OpenAI uses Codex. Here are seven use cases on Codex, you can read them all, but I will share what helped me. One engineer said, when I fix a bug, I use ask mode to see where else in the code base the same issue might appear. If you don't see ask mode in the Codex IDE plugin, like me, you can just trigger it manually. Just ask, suggest the code only. Don't modify anything. Explain the code changes and their locations. This keeps your code changes predictable and your workflow under control. Now for my personal tip, use keyword one shot. It gives shorter, less overthought results, but still accurate. So you won't waste your time reading through a wall of generated text after 10 minutes of thinking. Also try keywords like make minimal code changes, make code clean, simple and human-like. This way you will spend less time reviewing and avoid unnecessary boilerplate. All LLMs have some sort of randomness. So these tips won't always work, but they helped me to stay consistent and productive. What about you? Share your tips and tricks in the comments, so it will make this video even more valuable.